Alright, so this is a Taylor ice cream machine that uh, this left side from the time they built it this morning won't operate. Uh, it says mix out. Even if you manually try and run the pump. Um, so this is the pump, it's not running. Um, there's a, a spindle in here. It spins around and around and it runs this pump piston up and down. And then the pump draws in milk from the bag. And then it runs out the machine into the barrel of the machine here. And then there's actually a pressure sensor that stops the pump. When uh, the barrel's full, then it's trying to pump. The pressure gets too high. It pushes a bladder inside of these devices, which I'll show you, and it stops the pump. So normally when the pump won't run like this, it's because the bladder is sensing that it's full, even though it's not which is interesting, so you can unhook. This is the output, okay? So now, this will definitely run. There's no pressure in the system. So it's not being killed by these two safeties anyway. Um, if we hit pump, it still doesn't run. So we should be squirting milk out there like crazy. I've already opened up the side. I haven't done anything. There's a like a thermal reset. I haven't pushed it yet. Oh, looky there. So, it kicked and stopped. Did you see that? When I hit pump, I think we've tripped the motor again. No, nope, we sure have not. Okay, so that was reset. That, if that trips, it's because there's too much load on the motor. So, either this isn't assembled properly, this is kind of a nightmare. So, pull this pin. Okay, pull that pin out. And then this drops. And this pump comes off. Now, let's do this. So our pump is not tripped. We're good to go. If we hit pump, she bumps. So the problem is not in there. Uh, if it was a bad pressure switch or something, it would still be not spinning. I'm going to reconnect this just for kicks. Right? Uh, okay, pump, pump spinning. So the problem is 100% either in how this motor is built, how this pump housing has been assembled, or the way it was mounted on there. The easiest thing I'm gonna do to start is I'm gonna run the pump and I'm gonna do my best to stop it in a place I can identify, right? So we're about at the bottom. I'm gonna take this pump and I'm gonna try and adjust where this is to get it in the proper place. So I'll pick you right back up. Okay, we're back. So I have this down in what I believe to be close to the proper place. We're gonna slide it so I can feel that clicked in. There's a hole on the top as well. Boom, so that's in there proper. Hang on, so I screwed up this collar. It's gonna be real fun one-handed. That collar has to be on there ready to go. We're gonna set the pump. Top to kick in, there it is. I pinched the hose, see that? Terrible. Last go around before I get a cameraman here. Uh, we can do this. We're gonna slide that collar up. Boom. Put our pin in it. Place. We hit pump. And she pumps. Where do we do 
people are the problem always. <laughs> I'm gonna let this run for a second. I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, I wanna take a minute, kind of recap, because I know all this stuff happens crazy when I'm trying to do things and pull the camera. We got ice cream now. I feel like it's not the right flow though. Sorry, pardon me. Yeah, it is. Just there. Alright, so, you know, it's about asking the right questions. When he texted me this morning about it, uh, I asked the questions and found out that, like, it worked yesterday, and then this morning when he tried to use it, it didn't work. Also, it was pulled apart and cleaned yesterday. So that's another really good opportunity for them to mess something up. I joked and said, oh, people are always the problem because the general manager walked right up to me as I was talking and he's the one who put this together. So I was razzing him for that. Um, but I mean, the pump wasn't built incorrectly. This pin was in, this block was on, it was just something funny about the way, I guess it was this way, right? The way that they seated, it wasn't able to start the piston moving. Um, so the pump's not working, you know, first and foremost, and this is what I told him. Don't mess with the safeties, don't mess with the pump uh, reset button, pull this off. Pull it off, press the pump button, and if it spins, your machine is working, and the problem is in the actual pump, not the motor, or the way it mounts. If it doesn't spin, then, so like if we would have done that first, I'd have pressed pump and it wouldn't have spun. The first thing I would have checked was inside the side panel on the reset. Is the motor able to spin? If I'd have pressed the reset and it wasn't tripped, so the motor can spin and is not here, then we know the problem has gotta be in one of these. Uh, and I can't undo them now because they're under pressure. Uh, so, yeah. I'm still learning a lot about these Taylor machines. Um, you've seen we have the Dukes at the other store. I know them very well. These not so much. Uh, it's a pretty simpler, it's, it's a more simplified system. That's why we liked the idea of these machines. Um, yes, there's a lot of computerized nonsense in there, but it's hardware. You know, this is not a software issue. This is hardware. You know, this, this is a, basically a pressure sensor in there and when this pushes the button that uh, energizes one of these and it says nope you can't run the pump because uh, I'm full. Uh, there's a little reset button right here sometimes that needs to be reset but yeah. Up and running. See? Hey so as I was putting this video together and I was watching the footage something jumped out of me and i saw the problem and it was just right right there uh, so i didn't want to miss the opportunity to share that with you i've already shared it with the staff here uh, i'll put up the pictures and you'll see what caused the problem so here's a still from the footage look at the top of the pump see the round peg yeah you're not supposed to see the round peg it's supposed to go inside a hole inside the back of the cylinder. So it allows that white pillar to hit the knuckle and the knuckle to start to spin, but then it locks up, doesn't have the strength. 